Considering the fact that Chef Ramsay has an unfiltered sailor's mouth, it doesn't come to much of a surprise that he would stir some heated arguments up. Chef Ramsay has lashed out at aspiring chefs on several occasions time and again. But in season 6, something stood out. All hell broke loose. One chef decided to challenge Chef Ramsay to a fight. And by all means, it appears to be more than just a war of words. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Film Insight channel. In today's video, we are going to reveal the one person who had enough guts to stand up to Chef Ramsay. You might already be thinking of a few names, but this list will certainly take you by surprise. Before we reveal who butted heads with the famous chef, we're going to list out some times that things got heated on Hell's Kitchen. Be sure to stick around since we've saved the craziest encounter for the last. First up, Sandra vs. Jason. Oh my God. Get out of here! Don't push me with a knife. Right, right right away. There's no need to argue! Why are you cutting it open? Because you're f***ing tricking it! During the dinner service in Season 12, Episode 4, the blue team was having an awful night as they were screwing up dishes one after another. After the red team finished their service successfully, Chef Ramsay sent the team to the blue kitchen to help them wrap up. But one particular person was not happy about it. We're talking about Jason Zapaltas. It all started when the two were working together. The man went into a heated argument with Sandra Flores. After a small rift, Zapaltas yelled at Flores to get out. Soon the two got into a heated argument, and both were shouting in front of the customers. It's an open kitchen, so the guests can pretty much see everything that happens in the kitchen. Thanks to Chef Ramsay's intervention, the pair broke off. Had he not intervened, things could have gotten worse. Because you're f***ing tricking it raw! I know it's not a fire yet, you dumb What? It's not a fire! It's not a fire yet! Coming up next is Kimmy versus Robin. Ears need to be cleaned out, bitch! You gotta f***ing watch who you f***ing bitch! Get in my For face! Real. I am in your who can forget Robin Armaldovar from seasons 10 and 17? She was widely disliked due to her rude attitude. When we saw Armaldovar coming back in the 17th season of the show, we all thought that she would have improved her behavior, but unfortunately she didn't. Armaldovar always got into fights with her teammates, and this one was intense. It was in the 10th episode of season 10. Both Armaldovar and Willis failed their team during the dinner service because of their miscommunication. Both got into a heated argument back at the dorms, which led to a physical fight. Somehow, the other girls managed to stop them at the right time. During the elimination round, when Willis nominated Almodovar, Almodovar didn't waste a minute getting back at Willis. So what happened next? Chef Ramsay sent Almodovar to the blue team, and trust me, they were so unhappy. Robin, give me your jacket. Yes, sir. I'm leaving the red team. You're joining the blue team. If you thought this was crazy, wait till you see the next one. It'll drive you nuts. Now it's time for someone who got into a fight with Chef Ramsay. Giovanni Filipponi versus Gordon. Hey, look oh, at chef. me, look at me. You serve me shit like that. Take your jacket and f*** off. Yes, Chef. Giovanni Filipponi was a contestant in seasons 5 and 11. During episode 10 of season 5, he started on the wrong foot. And for that very reason, he was even warned by Chef Ramsay. But Filipponi continued to make mistakes, which did not sit well with Chef Ramsay. After Chef Ramsay called him out, Filipponi started arguing with him to make matters worse. Considering you're locking horns with Chef Ramsay, this was not a very wise thing to do. Chef Ramsay showed Filipponi who the boss is in his classic manner. What chef. I call it. This is not personal, this is professional. I'm sorry, that Chef. That first one's a piece of shit, now pull it back. Yes, Chef. During the deliberations, he was nominated for his lousy service. Do you think he survived the elimination? Of course he didn't. Giovanni, give me a jacket and leave House Kitchen. Thank you. Now that we have seen some crazy arguments, it's finally time to unfold the craziest of them all. This chef certainly did cross all boundaries. He not only had a bad attitude, but he also had a bad temperament. We're talking about the one and only Joseph Tinelli. You give the f***ing answers. F*** that shit, dog. I ain't here. You want a f***ing jacket? You want to talk some shit? Finally, a sous chef from Massapeka Park, New York, was a contestant in the sixth season, who finished in 15th. 
Before he started his chef's journey, Tinnerly was a former US Marine. During his signature dish challenge, he went up against Middleton. He presented Chef Ramsay with a roasted veal chop with vegetables. Though Tinelli's lamb was cooked perfectly, his Brussels sprouts were undercooked. When Chef Ramsay asked him to taste the Brussels sprout, he became defensive. You got a fork? You can buy that. You're a big boy. I'm not an animal. He then asked for a fork, stating that he would not eat with his bare hands because he was not an animal. This is where he first gave us a glimpse of his bad temperament. But could he control it? Keep watching to find out. Do I look like a caveman? Do I eat with my hands? Don't get defensive. Even though Tinelli didn't score a point, the blue team won the challenge. They were rewarded with a dinner on the Hell's Kitchen patio, where they were served dishes from Chef Ramsay's London West Hollywood. The red team was punished with cleaning. While enjoying the dinner, Joseph gave a toast to the losing side, who were all women. He declared that they were where they should be. With this, Tinelli showed us another of his sick traits, of how sexist he could be. His poor intentions were solidified at the garnish station of the first dinner service. When Chef Ramsay saw Cordio cooking the spinach, Chef Ramsay asked him why, to which Tinelli interjected that he did not know. Later, he asked the dumbest thing possible on the show, if Chef Ramsay could cook the lamb on his station. What was he thinking? Chef, let me do the lamb. Bring him over here, please. Listen, 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 listen to me. Hey, and right now, big boy, hey, I'm looking like a f***ing idiot. I got it. Anyway, Chef Ramsay rejected his request by saying that he, Chef Ramsay, looked like an idiot, to which Tinelli aggressively talked back. What an arrogant guy. The following day, during the shrimp cleaning challenge, Tinelli declared how easy the challenge was. As confident as he was, how much do you think he scored? He barely managed just five. Five. Disappointed, Joseph. Despite that, he and his team won the shrimp cleaning challenge and were rewarded a day at Newport Beach for seafood lunch and a 40-foot mega yacht with Chef Ramsay. Bring your sunscreen. We're serving dessert on a 100-foot mega yacht. While everyone was happy and excited to share lunch with Chef Ramsay, Tinelli was not. He said he didn't come to Hell's Kitchen for lunches and rewards, and he didn't even care. He was so unhappy that he ruined the atmosphere by disrespecting Chef Ramsay. I didn't come here for lunches and all this. I don't really care. If you thought this was insane, wait till you hear the other tricks he had up his sleeve. Later at the dinner service, he was at the appetizer station. When the blue team was going down the hill with the service, Joseph took vocal control of the fish station. How do you think he motivated his team? He said, shut up and relax, as everyone was looking like a chicken. This guy is such a loser. Would you just shut the up for a minute and relax? You're like chickens right now. Relax. Look. Now let's talk about the deliberations. Chef Ramsay asked Tinelli to nominate two people from his team, and for no apparent reason, he decided to counter-attack instead of following the instructions. Finally, he responded that his teammates could speak for themselves since they knew who they were. This response obviously irritated Chef Ramsay, and he called him a smartass. So when Chef Ramsay asked him again, he nominated Tony and Andy for no apparent reason. At this point, we all thought that Chef Ramsay would lose his temper, but he gave Tinelli a third chance. Tinelli responded in the same aggressive manner, so when Chef Ramsay asked him to follow the directions, he sparked off a heated argument and even blurted out that he was not a bitch. The guy didn't show any signs of calming down. Just when you think things are settled, our man took off his jacket and threw it to the ground. If that wasn't enough, what he did next totally shocked all the onlookers. He walked aggressively towards Chef Ramsay to fight him. Fortunately, before it went out of control, the security team intervened. Chef Ramsay tried his best to calm Tinelli down, but he continued to hurl insults. Tinelli was finally escorted off the set. You want to talk some shit? Let's go step outside, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, you just blow your... Cameras. Yeah, the cameras. That leaves us wondering how an ex-Marine could be so disrespectful and undisciplined. However, after the whole incident, some rumors started doing the rounds. So what was it? Did Tinelli have a troubled past that drove him to act this way? Nah, it's just that some believe Tinelli was nothing more than a marketing trick by the show's creators to increase viewing. After all, his temper tantrums and furious outbursts have entertained many. On the other hand, others felt he was genuinely enthusiastic about cooking and possessed the necessary skills to be a great chef. What do you think? 
Was the whole Tinelli thing a ploy? After all, it's not uncommon for many shows to pull off a gimmick like that. Whatever the case, it brings us to the next big question. Where is Tinelli, and what is he doing now? Did any restaurant or hotel hire him after seeing how he behaved with Chef Ramsay? After Hell's Kitchen, Tinelli worked for a short time as part owner of American Beauty Bistro in North Massapeka. After that, he worked as executive chef at Uncle Jack's Steakhouse until taking the executive position at Taste Kitchen, which is now permanently closed. Unfortunately, according to Reddit users, there are no current updates on him, but he is probably working as a professional chef in New York. But we, however, didn't give up. We searched far and wide and finally found Tinelli on Instagram. Though there are hardly any posts, we found something striking or rather shocking. His bio read, Gordon Ramsay, I ain't no... And with that, we knew we had the right guy. Looks like he hasn't changed much. Well, unfortunately, the video has come to an end. What do you think about Joseph Tinelli? Are there any other fights that you can think of? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video, then give us a like and share. Also, hit the bell icon to never miss any future videos from us. Thanks for watching.